Hello and welcome to another Zebra Tripad getting started tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about poly painting and materials. So I have this demo head female over here that I loaded up from my home screen. And as you can see, I've selected this paintbrush and I want to apply some color to my model. In order for me to do that, when I start painting, two things are happening. Number one, I have a white color. And if I change that, you can see it's going to change the color of the entire model. That is because if you go down here to your subtool palette, there's this little paintbrush icon right next to the eye icon. And that is the poly painting button. So if you turn this on, you're basically seeing the poly paint. So let me change this to something more drastic like this red. And if I start painting, you can see I'm painting that red on the model. Now, if I zoom in, you can see there's a weird staircase effect. This is because poly paint is technically vertex color. That means it's assigning a color to each one of your vertices. So it is relying on how dense your model is or how much geometry you have in your model. So let me go to the tool palette in this case, and I want to go to geometry. I want to divide this a bunch of times. So let me divide this like three times. And now if I do the same paint stroke over here, you can see that my stroke is just way cleaner and way sharper. Now I can also paint materials. So this model in particular does not have a material applied. That means if I go over here to my material button and I change this material to something like this basic material, you can see it's changing on the fly. Whenever color or materials change on the fly as you're selecting them, that means they're not actually applied or baked to your model. So in order to apply this material, I'm going to come down here to this MRGB button, which controls the intensity of your RGB. So if I tone this down and start painting, you can see it's just painting with a lower opacity. So you can paint in increments maybe, and you can do like some handcrafted fades to your model. Down here, you can see there's an M, an RGB, and an MRGB button. That means material, color, or material and color. So if I turn on, first of all, let me just apply this. So I have to turn on my MRGB and then go to the color with the selected material that I want and fill object. So I want this to be a white color. So let me just go over here. And as you can see, it filled the object with the current intensity on your RGB. So I'm going to go 100% and I'm going to fill the entire model, the white color with this material. So now if I change my material again, you can see it's only changing for the eyes because we haven't changed the material on the eyes. So if I want to start painting a different material, let's just say I want this to be the skin shade four. And now I have MRGB turned on with the same brush. I can come over here and change this to red and start painting. And it's not only painting color, but it's also painting the material. So now we have two materials in our model. That being said, you can tweak those materials by accessing our material palette over here or by clicking this little button on the top. So any of these buttons on the left, the brush button, the stroke button, the alpha button have that little icon on the top that will allow you to access the corresponding palette. So you don't need to come over here every time. You can just go to your material, tap that little button, and these are the material modifiers. So now I can come over here and change, for example, the diffuse intensity, the specular intensity, and to change the curve of that specularity. So if I go over here to my material palette and then increase this diffuse, for example, it's changing that diffusal light intensity. So I'm going to lower this up and go to my diffuse curve and I can change this to be a little sharper. Maybe I can add a point by tapping in this curve. And then if I tap this little ring, I can change the fall off between those anchor points. So to preview this, I click done. And then I'm going to change this slider ever so slightly. So now you can see it's way steeper, like that diffuse uh, aspect of the material. Keep in mind that we have two types of materials. The matte cap material has different settings because these materials have baked lighting, while the standard materials react to lights. So obviously, we're not going to cover every single parameter in this video, but I would advise you to just explore all of these settings 
and come up with your own materials and cool settings and then just apply a few lights and render which we're going to cover in the next video so stay tuned i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one